What's up, Scorpios? It's 1028 Awakenings, and I'm back again with another motherfucking video. What's up, Scorpios? So, I think this is the first video today. Happy Saturday. I hope y'all looking good, feeling good, and motherfucking smelling good. Let's see what my Scorpios need to know. What's up? Dang, everything's sideways. All right, Scorpio. This is about thought on my board. Scorpio, you got an Aquarius out here, or this is just Aquarius energy. Uh, somebody wants you to bring love to the situation. Like, right? why you got to be so mean, Scorpio? Okay. A Gemini could be saying this. This person wants to bring communication to the situation. Your dreams need a practical plan. All right, so Scorpios. You got an Aquarius situation. You got an Aquarius or a Gemini here or a Taurus, okay? You could have a situation where <clears throat> you have a plan or there's something that you want to execute in your life, Scorpio. And you do have, like, the, the work ethic to do it. But you don't have, like, the structure. You don't have a set time to do this and do that and do that. And Spirit is telling you, bitch, you need to get you a plan, shouty, with all due respect. Um, there are two different storylines here, so that I, I got to point these out, okay? Because, remember, two cards are going in the same direction. One is going in a different one. But the one that's going in a different one got two heads, okay? And that's important, okay? And I ain't never did no reading like this, but I'm going to do it today. So, Scorpio, you got a situation here. All right, this situation could involve a lover's connection. It could be a three-way situation where someone is splitting their energy with you and they're splitting their energy with another person, okay? Now, the energy that they have for you, Scorpio, or this could be your energy for them, they feel like you cold. They feel like you distant, okay? And I just feel like this is more so your energy than this Taurus, okay? So whoever this is, they feel, they think that, you know, you need to bring love into this situation because you being real cold, you being real distant, all right? Um, this person wants communication with you, Scorpio. They want to talk to you. On the other hand, this person also could feel like, you know, uh, you have a friend. Your friend could be a Taurus, okay? This Taurus friend could be a female. Her eyes could be very beautiful. Like when she opens up her eyes, it's very bright or it brightens up her face, okay? Or she likes lashes or something like that, okay? But this, this girl... Or this man, or whoever this is, it's your friend that's a Taurus, they got this master plan. You know, it's great to have a plan, you know, you're excited about it, but there's no follow through, okay? It says your dreams need a practical plan. What is the point of this situation, okay? So, you're thinking about that. You might be thinking about how you're going to articulate to this person. Now, this Gemini could be feeling like this too, okay? This Gemini could be trying to figure out or how to articulate to this Taurus. Like, yo, you know, you're my friend. I care about you. But, you know, you're saying you're doing this and you're saying you're doing that. But there is no execution here. But this person could just think this. All this stuff is in this person's head. They don't want to say this shit out loud. Like, bitch, this dream you got don't make no fucking sense, okay? Also, they want to say, like, bitch, why the fuck is you being so goddamn mean? Like, you always talking about kumbaya ho. Like, where the kumbaya at now, okay? So, this is all in somebody's head, okay? It could be a Gemini because, like I said, this person got two heads. But Geminis also represent in tarot love. So, this is dealing with love. Like, you could have love for your homegirl. You could have love for your wife. You could have love for your spouse, okay? You could be a Gemini dating a Taurus and you just feel like you love her a lot and you want to bring love into the situation. But you want to tell her that whatever she doing, this shit don't fucking make sense. Like, you know... What what's the purpose? What's the conclusion? How are we gonna make money off of this? How's this gonna build? Something just doesn't add up. And somebody is seeing that right now, okay? Now this could be you. You could have to have a serious conversation with your partner, your spouse, okay? And you know, they got some good ideas, but the ideas don't have no strong ass follow through, okay? But whoever, whatever it is, this is just something that they're thinking about dealing with you, Scorpio. Damn, okay? 
They also thinking about your health. Maybe you were sick. Maybe something happened to you. Maybe you are not feeling well. So somebody is thinking about your health and how you feel. They think you feel very bad or your health is bad. Okay. So somebody's thinking that you have bad health, Scorpio. They also thinking that, you know, you need to bring love into the situation. All right. Somebody also wants you to talk to them and communicate. Somebody also feels like they need to have a logical plan if they want to come and talk to you. Okay. And this may have something to do with your health. Okay. So Scorpios. I never tell you guys to go to the doctor, but you need to look up what's wrong and then see what kind of thing you need to do to heal it. Okay. Okay. All right. Simple as that. <clears throat> Damn. All right. Look how this shit fell out on this thing. Okay. So there's a man here. It could be a woman. All right. Uh, this person could like art or have art in their house somewhere. Okay. But this person is thinking about how they want to communicate with you. This could be a strong ass fucking Gemini. This person wants to be... <sighs> This person is sideways. So this person could be talking to an Aquarius. This person can have many faces. They have a face with you, have a face with someone else. This person could be also talking to a nurse, okay? Or this person could be sick and have to go to the doctor, okay? Bad health is here. Or this person is in good health because this person landed this way, which means this way. So this, this main male or this main female is in good health. But they want communication. That's really what this is. Okay, so you got somebody out here that want communication. You do got a mature woman here. So they could be an age, age gap here. So the mature woman came over here by themselves. Okay, so there's a main male here that wants communication or thinks about having communication. But they want high vibe communication. But they also want you to say that you're in good health. There's also a mature woman here. So there's an older lady here. Okay, so something's going on with this Taurus very soon okay so something very soon is gonna happen with this Taurus scorpio so you need to have your eyes peeled because i don't know something is gonna happen very soon here and somebody's waiting for someone okay bottom of the deck energy 28 is here okay let's stop playing all right let's see what the fuck going on with this dumb ass story <clears throat> i'm not saying it's dumb but i just want to know what the fuck is going on uh they just showed me these green cards Okay, something is being hidden here, all right? Somebody want to tell somebody something. Some don't make practical sense. Somebody want to communicate. Somebody stuck in their head. Uh, distant horizon. Something's coming in very fast. Somebody's been waiting. There's a main male here waiting here for health or something shit. And there's an older person. Uh, let's see what's going on with this older person. Mature woman. All right, so this mature woman feel like she's soulmates with this man, whoever this person is that's thinking about something with bad health in this Gemini, okay? So whoever this Gemini is, this Gemini and this mature woman, they feel like they're soulmates. They feel like they have a deep connection with each other. These two people could be stalking each other, but they do have a telepathic connection. It could be an Aquarius too. So Scorpio, if you fucking with a Gemini, they could have a strong connection with an Aquarius, okay? That you know nothing about. And this is a deep love, it's unity, and it's connection. But this main male could be feeling differently. Now this main male or this main female could have this same connection with a Taurus as well, okay? But there is some kind of deep love, unity, and connection. We got an Aquarius, a Gemini, and a Taurus here, okay? But with this mature woman, which I feel like is you, Scorpio, or uh, you just have an older presence, okay? This person, whoever the fuck this is, okay, this main male or main female feel like they have a deep connection with you and they feel like it's telepathic. Maybe they once had this connection with these people, but now they have it with you, okay? That's very interesting. Can you pull, can I have a clarifying cord on the Taurus? That was quick. <clears throat> All right, so this Taurus is very fucking emotional, okay? I heard, I guess so weak in my knees. I can't hardly speak. All right, then I heard, um, I'm going down. I can't sing that one, mm-mm. Okay, so this person is going through an emotional storm. It's like up, it's, it's, it's unstable. Like this person could be up, down. This person could drink a lot of alcohol. <clears throat> when you drink a lot of alcohol and you sing songs, woo, you be going on a spell. So whoever this is, they could be going through an emotional storm and it could be really affecting this person. They could be waiting up late for somebody, okay? All right, let's see what's going on with this Aquarius. <clears throat> Can I have a clarifying card on this Aquarius? Damn, I said one. So this, 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 okay, okay, 
All right, so there could be an Aquarius in your life, Scorpio, all right? And this Aquarius could be very quiet. They could be frozen. They ain't got nothing to say. I honestly think this is you, though. I think, Scorpio, you quiet. You ain't saying shit. I think whoever this Taurus is, they're realizing that somebody, like, something is happening where when, when, when a person feels like they're dishonest, Time goes by and then it seems like they're honest, you know what I'm saying? But they really have tricky behaviors, but they have like a routine or something like this. Something weird is going on with this dishonest, this deception, and tricky. There's somebody who's very two-faced with this Taurus, okay? And it has something to do with wealth or money and the expectation. Then you got a Sagittarius out here because we got clarifying. There is third parties. People are attached to other people. And, you know, you know these people. With, with peers here, these are people that you know or you know someone through somebody. But you know this face if you would see it or you would wave at them and say, hey, there are a lot of third parties here, Scorpio. So you need to know whoever you fucking talking to. They thinking about communicating with you, but they're thinking about communicating with you, a Sagittarius and definitely a Taurus. Now, with this Taurus energy, this Taurus seems like they're breaking up with them and they're not taking it too well with this emotional storm. Also, with this Gemini, this Gemini could be thinking heavily about this Aquarius as well. This is another energy, okay, um, as well. And it could be a man, could be a female. I don't know, all right? All I know is that these people do have hair. This person does feel like they have a strong attachment to you, Scorpio, but you could be silent. Somebody could feel like you make them very happy, but that part of their life is about to be gone because it seems like you're not taking any more risk, okay? And your free-spirited energy has been taken off of the board, okay? Let me see what messages you have from Spirit, from my Scorpios. Why y'all be pulling out energy out? Damn, that was quick. If you are going through a difficult time, connect with the divine for protection and guidance. They will hear you when you're alone. They are. They will hear you. You're not alone. So Scorpio, if you're older, Scorpio or mature, older in age, I don't fucking know. This could be somebody mama too. Um, just know that, you know, you're not by yourself. You know, you could be isolated right now. You could be silent. You could be frozen. I feel like this y'all energy. So if you a Scorpio male, I feel like you could be just doing your own thing. But yeah, whoever you was talking to, they had attachments. They had third parties and half of these people that they was fucking around with. You personally knew with peers here. Okay. And now spirit is just telling you to be silent, be frozen. Just, just stay to yourself. Okay. Whoever this is, if this is a Gemini, they are thinking about all of this shit, all right? Somebody is thinking about bad health as well, all right? <clears throat> so something could be going on with somebody's health. Somebody could need to go to the doctor, okay? Also, we have, we are the company we keep. Are you in the space with healthy people, okay? So whoever this is, they are looking at the people that are around them and they're wondering, like, are these people good? Are these people healthy that's in my space? So somebody could be re-examining who they spend their time with because they feel like whoever this is is not really healthy, okay? Um, yeah, so Scorpio, overall, um, you could be going through an emotion. You're not, okay? So I just feel like overall, these are your cards over here. You were put in third party. I don't think that that was exposed to you. I think this is the first time I'm telling you this, okay? So if you know you in a third party because you got exposed, this not your reading. Parts of it could be, but that's not. This person, you don't know you're in third parties, okay? But you silent because the universe is telling you. And, and you're, you need to be alone because... As you are alone, they are going to reveal to you because this is blue with that communication because it's silent. So you are silent. You're not saying anything, but the universe is revealing to you that there were many third parties in this situation. Okay. You had to put up a stone wall against something because really it was toxic. Okay. For real. And it was causing you bad health or dis-ease. I love you guys. Bye.